Hello there, this is Dapsin Ishmael. Let's take a look at how to apply some cool effects to a docking layer. To show you what I mean, let me go ahead to open my browser. So as you can see, this is a navigation layer here. We have a header here also, and we have some text here. When I scroll to hit a certain section of the page, this, as this red layer gets hidden, a blue layer shows here and it sticks on top of the page. So let's take a look at how to apply this or achieve this in WYSIWYG Web Builder. I'll go ahead to minimize my browser. And in WYSIWYG Web Builder, we'll go to the toolbox. So under advanced in the toolbox, let me scroll to advanced. Under advanced in the toolbox, we we'll click on layer, draw on an empty box and the canvas. Double click in your layer, go to styles, make sure you take away the border. So you select none under style for the border and change the width to zero. Now come back to general and where you have alignment, click on the drop down arrow and select center. Go ahead and check relative horizontal sizing and go ahead and click on OK. We will change the size of this particular layer to 970 pixels by 150 pixels. Go ahead and hit on enter. Now let's go ahead and go back to toolbox. Under toolbox, we are going to go to draw and let me just collapse this, collapse this as well and um, collapse this and come to drawing. Under drawing, select font awesome. Draw on an empty space in your canvas double click on it and let's scroll and look for the icon or logo we are so we want to use in our project so i'm going to go ahead to select js fiddle so i'll go ahead and select it and click on ok so this is what i want to use i'll move it to this particular layer i'll make sure it is positioned center both horizontally and vertically i'll go ahead and make a copy of this layer so i'll right click on it select copy and i'll paste it here and i'll move it to the bottom let me just select what i pasted move it to the bottom get rid of this font awesome icon change the size of this particular layer to 60 pixels that's the height and i'll change the color to red so i'll go to styles go to color and select red to be the background color i'll go ahead and click on ok now I'll go ahead and apply some test here so i'll click on two box and i'll under standard i'll select text so i'll populate this text with about 10 paragraphs so i'll double click and it highlight what says here and under editing that is in the ribbon click on lorraine epsom and select 10 paragraph so i'll go ahead and move this to this particular position and expand this a little bit so i'll go ahead and expand this and i'll make sure it is positioned in the center of the canvas now i'll go ahead and make another copy of this particular layer so i'll right click on it select copy i'll go ahead and use ctrl v to make a paste of it I'll go ahead and double click in this layer. Under mode, I'm going to change this to docking layer. Under dock mode, I'll select dock, to, dock top. So I'll select dock top and I'll go to style and change the color of this layer to blue. So I'll change this to royal blue. I'll go ahead and click on OK. I'll move this layer to hit this particular edge of this layer. Now I'll go back to my toolbox and this time around, I'm going to go to navigation. Under navigation, I'm going to select the CSS menu. I'll draw here. And I'll move this to this particular layer. I'll make a copy of it. So right click on it, select copy using Ctrl V, make a paste of it, and I'll move it to this particular layer. I'll now go ahead to apply a bookmark to here. So I'll go to my standard tools under toolbox and I'll click on bookmark. I'll just draw on an empty space here in my canvas and I'll and move it to this particular position. I'll then double click on it and um, I'll go to event. Under event, I'm going to go to add. Under add, I would select um, that is event. Under event, scroll hide on scroll hide. I'll click on the drop down arrow by action and I'm going to select show with effect. So I'll select show with effect. And now the target is going to be one of these layers. Since I don't know what the particular layer is, um, that is the ID or the name of that particular layer, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on OK and give some names to this layer. So I'll make I'll change this particular layer's name, that is the ID name to red. And I'll go ahead and change this one to blue. This is going to aid me in uh, applying the event to the individual um, layer. So I'll go back to my bookmark. I'll go to event and I'll double click on this. So as I have selected show with effect, I'll now go to target and I'm going to select the blue. That is this particular layer. I'll change the effect to slide up. I'll go ahead and change the length to zero and click on OK. I'll therefore add another 
event again on scroll this time around is going to be on scroll reveal and uh, the action is going to be hide with effect i'm going to select the part same layer again that is the blue here i'm going to change the effect to slide up again i'm going to change the length to zero i'll go ahead and click on ok and click on ok i'll therefore click on this layer go to my object manager let me bring my object manager i'll go to view check object manager and i'll make sure i'll hide this particular layer so i'll select my that's my blue layer i'll hide it here and let me just um auto hide this one again now we are set let's take a preview of this in our browser so i'll go ahead and hit on f5 as you can see uh, our test is uh position that is aligned to the left hand side let's go back and fix that I right click on an empty space in my canvas go to page properties and under page alignment i'll click on the drop down arrow and select center horizontally i'll go ahead and click on ok now let me take a preview of the project and see how it's going to be in the browser i'll go ahead and hit on f5 and it takes a while so as you can see it has loaded well in our browser now let me scroll and as you can see as this particular layer is beginning to get hidden this layer shows in and this one becomes very useful for navigation objects. So this is how to apply some cool effect to a docking layer and wizard web builder. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.